Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Pastor Moses and we're going to focus on the last part of the zodiac sign and their colors. Sagittarius, on the positive side, you're impressive and illusional. On the negative side, there's darkness and misinterpretation. So let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. We had the Five of Wands, the Three of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. So what this tells me is that there was a lot of fighting in the past and it led to a lot of heartbreak. But you're gonna end up being financially rewarded in the future. So let's see who Sagittarius is gonna match up with in a love match. And we have Leo. So let's see how Sagittarius and Leo are going to do in a love match. We have the lovers, the empress, and the hangman. So what this tells me is that there was a sexual relationship going on in the past and it's with the mature woman, but she's holding on, holding on, hoping that something can come from this. So let's see what our next sign is. And that is Capricorn. Capricorn, on the positive side, you're stable and secure. On the negative side, you're unexcitable and opinionated. So let's see what's going on with Capricorn. You have the High Priestess, the Star, and the King of Pentacles. So what this tells me is that you follow your intuition and has been doing that for a while and it has led you in the right direction. It makes me feel like you continue following your intuition and I feel like more positive and loving things are gonna come your way. So let's see who Capricorn's gonna match up with in a love match. And we have Taurus. So let's see what's going on between Capricorn and Taurus in a love match. We have the King of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Devil. So what that tells me is that the male energy in the relationship can be a little controlling because when he doesn't get what he wants, He's not very happy. So let's see what our next sign is. And that is Aquarius. Aquarius, on a positive side, you seek the truth and you're a learner. On a negative side, you're detached and passive. So let's see what's going on Aquarius. You have the two of wands, the tower, and the seven of wands. So what this tells me is that you started a new venture in the past and it was going well for a little while and then something happened that changed everything and it was kind of like a surprise to you. And now in the future, it seems to make you have your guards up. So let's see who Aquarius is gonna match up with in a love match. And we have Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius and Sagittarius in a love match.
We have the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the King of Cups. This tells me is that this is a serious relationship, committed relationship, marriage, living together, and that they love each other. There's a lot of love, and the man is very emotional and very sensitive. So let's see what our next sign is. And it is Pisces. Pisces, on a positive side, you're sensitive and you're an inventor. On a negative side, you're overly emotional and you're clingy. So let's see what's going on with Pisces. We have the Page of Swords. We have the Sun. And we have the Six of Pentacles. So what that tells me is that you're going to hear some news and this news is going to make you happy. And it feels like maybe a job opportunity. And it feels like you're going to start from the ground up. So let's see who Pisces is going to match up with in a love match. And we have Sagittarius. Let's see how Pisces and Sagittarius are going to do in a love match. We have the Death card, and we have the King of Wands, and the King of Cups. So what this tells me is that you had a breakup with a male energy in the past, and you think about that person a lot, but you're now with someone new. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for upcoming videos.